All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Rakak with us. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Uh, this is the biblical meaning of the uh, uh, phrase, okay, that's in the scriptures uh, bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Okay, and um, that's basically uh, meaning that when when a lot of people hear that, you know, they think that um, Eve literally came from Adam's uh, rib. Okay, and I'm a, um, I'm gonna prove that. Okay, I might re re um, you know, change the title of the um the video, you know, but I'm gonna prove that uh, Eve didn't come from um, Adam's liberal literal uh rib. Okay, so um, this is Genesis um, 2 and um, I'm going to start at 18. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make and help me for him. Right. So a lot of a lot of people, you know, they understand this. Okay. And they'll say, well, read up a couple of verses or read down a couple of verses. Okay. The thing is, that's not how you read the scriptures, okay? That's not how you read the Bible. The Bible is precept upon precept, okay? Here a little and there a little, okay? So, the Lord made and helped me for um, for Adam, right? Or, or, or let's say, say that it is not good that man should, should live alone, okay? So, continuing on, I'm going to jump down to um, the 21st verse. Right, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept and took and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Right? So a lot of people, once again, they'll read this, okay, and they'll think that okay, the Lord opened up Adam and, and basically he just closed up, you know, his flesh after he took a rib from him. Okay. And he made a, a woman out of that, okay. Um was that's 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 stupid man when you when you really go into it you know the the, the scriptures is uh a literal you know and figurative uh speaking okay but in this case this is a parabolic okay it's not meant to 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 to, to be taken literally okay so it says in the rib right which words have different meanings okay and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her onto the man. And Adam said, this is the key point. It says, he, Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Okay. Now, it says bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Okay. Okay. Which that just means uh, a kinsman, okay, or 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 or, or a relative or, or a family member, okay. Now, um, going into Second Samuel five and uh, one, right? It says, then came all the tribes of Israel to David unto Hebron and spake, saying, Behold, we are your bone and your flesh, okay. So. Did, did all of Israel come out of David's ribs? No, that that's just at that time when 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 um, King David was was uh, king of Israel. Okay, the Israelites they came to him and they said that we we're your family, which all the Israelites are our family. Okay, we all come from a common ancestor. Okay, a, a, a common forefather. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. So um basically they, they, they came to the King David and they said, you know, we we are your, your your family members, you know, we're your, your kinsmen. Okay. You can look up that word kinsmen, okay? Aunts, uncles, um, nieces, nephews, okay. That's those are your kinsmen, okay? So and and uh, Paul also 
uh, spoke about the kinsmen. Okay. Um, let me jump up to uh, Genesis. Okay. The um, 29th uh, chapter. Okay. Which once again, like I said, this is all precept upon precept. Genesis 29 of... Um, I'm going to start at uh, 13. And it came to pass when Laban heard the tidings of Jacob, his sister's son, right? So Laban was Jacob's um, uncle, okay? And watch again. It came to pass when, when Laban heard the tidings of Jacob, right? His sister, okay, his sister, this is his sister. His sister had a son, okay? That was J Jacob was uh, Laban's uh, nephew. Okay, it says that he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house and he told Laban all these things. And Laban said to him, "Surely you art my bone and my flesh. Surely you're you're, you're my family." Okay, that's what that's what Laban was telling um, uh, Jacob. Okay, you're my family. Okay, you're my sister's uh, son, man. Okay, it says, and he bought a boat with him the space of a month. Okay. Now, then we know you know this this this, this the uh, story. Okay, Jacob and it, um, uh, marrying uh, Leah and Rachel. Okay, which was uh, Laban's daughters. Okay. So, so a lot of these Christian churches don't understand the scriptures, man. Okay. Uh, continuing on. Okay. That's just one example. Okay. The scriptures is plain and simple. Okay. If you, if, but it's not meant for everybody to get, you know, if you can't understand that, then it's just not meant for you to understand. Okay. This is uh second Samuel, um, 19 and, um, 12. It says, um, you are my brethren. You are my, I'm going to start at, I'm going to start at, um, 11. And King David sent to Zadok and to Abiathar the priest, the priest saying, speak unto the elders of Judah saying, why are you the last to bring the king back to his house? Saying the speech of all Israel is to, is come to the king even to his house. It says, you are my brethren. You are my bones and my flesh. Okay. It says, wherefore, then are you the last to bring back the king? And you say to um, um, Amasa, art thou not of my bone and of my flesh? God do so to me and more also, if thou be not captain of the host before me continually in the room of Jude, I mean, Joab. Okay. So, so basically, King David was was basically saying to Israel, okay, to Judah, y'all, y'all are my peoples, okay. Y'all are my family. They didn't literally come from his rib, okay. And that's one thing that a lot of a lot of um people don't get, man. Okay, it's parabolic. Okay, so when when we say, yeah, that's my rib, okay, that's my 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 woman. Yeah, she she's an Israelite, okay. Another another um nation okay uh that isn't an israelite can't be your rib man okay uh i'm gonna get this scripture okay and i'm gonna um end it okay lord willing on that okay uh this is um the book of uh ephesians okay chapter uh five okay and um 30 it says, for we are members of his body, right? This is what Paul was saying. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones, okay? And that's talking about the, the, the Messiah, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, okay? Which his name is Yahweh Shah, okay? So he was talking to uh, the, the, the Israelites, okay? Which which he was saying that we are, we are the Lord's uh, brothers, okay? The Lord only came for Israel, okay? We are his 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 members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. 
okay? So where where the Israelites are, are that that the auto elect, okay, first off, you know, those are that's what it's really talking about, the spiritual ones that are of Israel, that are of of Israel, that are the Israelites, okay, that are of Israel, okay. That's all the Lord came for, man. So with that, you know, I want to say, uh, you know, Solomon, uh, Lord willing, this was uh, edifying. I want to say uh, Solomon until next time.